Hi, bonjour. I want to read some things to you from the fourth edition of Black's Law Dictionary. Okay. M. This letter used as a Roman numeral stands for 1,000. It was also in Old English a, a brand or stigma impressed upon the brawn of the thumb of a person convicted of manslaughter and admitted to the benefit of clergy. This letter was sometimes put on the face of treasury notes of the United States and signifies that the treasury note bears interest at the rate of one mil percentum and not one percentum interest. U.S. versus Hardiman. M also stands as an abbreviation for several words of which is the initial letter as Mary, the English queen of that name, Michaelmas, Master or middle, your middle name. <clears throat> okay, now let me read to you what it says about Mark. A character usually in the form of a cross made as a substitute for his signature by a person who cannot write in executing a conveyance or other legal document. It is commonly made as follows. A third person writes the name of the marksman, leaving a blank space between the Christian name and surname. In this space, the letter traces the mark or cross lines, and above the mark is written his apostrophe or her and for it mark the, the apostrophes the sign writing or ticket put upon the manufacture of goods to distinguish them from others appearing thus in the compound trademark a token evidence or proof as a phrase a mark or fraud <clears throat> a weight used in several parts of Europe and for several commodities, especially gold and silver. When gold and silver are sold by the mark, it is divided into 24 carats. A money of accounts in England and in some other countries, a coin. The English mark is two thirds of a pound sterling, and the Scotch mark is of equal value in Scotch money of account. The word is sometimes used as another form of marquee, a license of reprisals. In early Teuton, Tonk in English law, a species of village community being the lowest unit in the political system, one of the forms of the gens or clan, variously known as the mark, <clears throat> Gemini, commune or parish, also the land held in common by such a community, the union of several such village communities and their marks or common lands from the next higher political union, the hundred. Demi mark, a half mark, a sum of money, which was anciently required to be tendered in a writ of right, the effect of such tender being to put the demandant in the first instance upon proof of the CCN as stated in his count, that is, to prove that the CCN was in the king's reign there stated. High and low mark. Okay, so um, you have your all caps name uh, and that's your capita diminutio maximus, and you have your capita diminutio minimus rights over it. You die to that all caps name. Uh, right here it says the, the name, the distinct designation of an individual person or a form or firm or corporation, Riley versus Litchfield. A person's name consists of one or more Christian or given names and one surname or family name. See, they did a character assassination on her father's name. It says, in words by which one is known and distinguished from others in description or abbreviation is not the equivalent of a name. Putman versus Escrum, uh, his father's family name and such phenomena as his parents choose to put before it, but this is only general rule from which individual may depart if he choose Enri Cohen, uh, as to the history of Christian names and surnames and their use of relative importance in law, distinctive name as in use regulation of United States Department of Ag Agriculture or trade arbitrary or fancy name which clearly distinguishable as a food product mixture or compound from any other food product. Then there's the talks about the names and arms clause. This popular name in English law for the clause sometimes inserted in will or settlement by which property is given to a person for the purpose of imposing on him the condition that he shall assume the surname and arms of the testator or settler with a direction that if he neglects to assume or discontinues the use of them, the estate shall dissolve, devolve on the next person and remainder, a provision for preserving contingent remainders. Okay, so in the uh, 
constitution here. I have uh, this um, old uh, American history law book, and it's got the old constitution in it. Um, the, this is the American people history book, and it's got uh, right here, it says no a person, uh, it says Indians are not taxed, and I have Native American in me. Uh, it says uh, that uh, when it's been past 10 days, anything, any treaty you give to the president, that is supposed to be obeyed, so I did do my peace treaty. Uh, and it says, yeah, if any bill shall not be returned by the president within 10 days, Sundays accepted, after it shall have been presented to him, the same shall be a law. So what I sent to him is a, is the law. Okay? And uh, there's to, you, to provide for the punishment of counterfeiting the securities and current coins of the United States. Uh the pr privilege of writ of habeas corpus shall not be suspended, and then no one shall be twice jeopardized, is in here, uh, of life or limb. Um, no money shall be drawn from the uh, treasury. It also says that uh, the United States is not to exceed a 10-mile square radius. Uh, it also talks about they have no right to... Uh, impair my contracts um, or any treaties and um, they're supposed to affirm on the word and to obey the Constitution, the original Constitution, which our forefathers, Thomas Paine said that their God, you know, see, if you look up the word God, Alan Horvath explains that God is another name of Satan. Okay, so the original name was taken out. The uh, the Gnostics, uh, all the shamans. See, there's this is a bunch of con artists because psychology is not a proven science, and all of these religions, which the word religion goes back to raw legion, which means legion of demons. Okay, so um, then it talks about your law of equity here which is to be given to whose name it belongs to and the full faith and credit of every dollar is in here uh let's see we got the free exercise of uh, speech press the people freely to assemble because no license is required and it talks about how the government and all of the fraud in there is notwithstanding especially the uh, British Bankruptcy Act and all these bankruptcy acts that keep happening because history keeps repeating itself and if, I'm not going to be bound by history. And it talks in here, it suits of common law where the value in controversy shall exceed $20. The right of trial by jury shall be preserved and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States and according to the rules of common law. Okay, so, you know, and it's, it's as no one yet, uh, can be twice jeopardized, okay? And so any claim for more than $20 that I was ever charged in life was my right to a grand jury trial and with 25 peers of my choosing. Okay, so I have died and gone to heaven. I have died to that all caps name by copywriting it. So they cannot use it for commercial usury anymore. 27 CFR 72-11. And they're breaking trust law and contract law and uh, committing a capital offense. See, Yeshua, the one, the archetype they call Jesus Christ, uh, which Hashiah was a, a very more e ancient Hebrew name, which means Savior and Salvation, um, said, I came to give you life that you would have it more abundantly on earth as it is in heaven. In my Father's house are many mansions. So, I've been crucified a thousand times over because if you study like about the pineal gland and the brain, uh, Santos Bonacci, the Christ within, explains it. 
Um, I would see that my mentors, so I don't use their pagan names of pagan gods. I don't even like to use the word God, which stands for government ordinance department. And my government rests on my shoulders. I don't have to obey any uh, federal procedures or statutes and codes. I use their statutes and codes against them to prove uh, the, the lost at sea laws, the international maritime admiralty, aviation, aircraft laws. All these uh, notwithstanding laws um, that have taken away from my feet on the land rights, my mineral salts and energy of the earth to own uh, the, the gold and the silver and the copper and all the precious metals and gemstones and jewels and not be left in poverty and scarcity. See, the Pope has that. Uh, pineapple pine cone that they have at the end of the staff because they envy the power of the pineal gland where when I speak to my real creator my power comes out that energy source from my brain see that's why they tried to drug me and everything to calcify it and cal uh, fluoride is in the water see we're dealing with a bunch of con artists on this earth you know when I was a vegetarian and cleansed to my body they came after me nabbed me now you know see as much as I did not want to ever eat meat again uh, because originally before the fall we be, there was no murdering of am, animals and vegans do murder animals if you study what really goes on with that so you know um, mankind is supposed to be at the top of the food chain and not be cannibals and um, you know the ecosystem has been disturbed by all of this uh putting uh hormones and, and antibiotics in the in the animals and then mankind eats it and all the artificial uh seeds and the foods and all of these genetic mutations that they've done to mankind. So the what Roosevelt did with the ex Executive Order Bankruptcy Act has no real standing in law and it doesn't apply to me because I'm the creditor, in fact, not the debtor. And um, I have my 12-stat large postal treasury. They had no right to take away my postal treasury nor my long-form certificate or my fifth estate right. See, they envy the beautiful home and mansion with trees of life, fruits and vegetables all growing on my land that's out here somewhere that I have dreamed in my mind for my relatives, my sons and daughter and my grandsons and granddaughter to be at which they're not going to have or to get. What I uh, have believed and prayed for and had faith for and have fought for belongs to me myself and I and my uh, flesh and blood creations which this book talks about your unconditional blood heirs and they took my blood uh, against my will and took my placenta and their placentas when they were born against my will so I rescind my signature from all unconscionable contracts and adopt my sons and daughters back to me and uh, render all their unconscionable contracts contracts null and void they are all redacted they're done in Bradstreet 10 miles square all radius over in the, the District of Columbia which doesn't exist okay this is all um, a bunch of fraud that we have been under and a bunch of lies and deceit and that all cats name is an equitable title that I'm the absolute perfect title holder over and that all the equity that belongs to me from that estate and that trust belongs to me not to the state not to the feds not to the so-called government which is a corporation business franchise and not to any of your churches and temples uh, because my temple is right here okay it's not in your churches and in your buildings and your temples that you built that are not withstanding in real law because I know what the Roman Catholic Church did and all religions have done which have no real standing in the real creator and savior's laws it's all man-made made up 
lies and deceit by a bunch of con, con artists who are a bunch of thieves who have been trying to steal from me. And I know that I have Christ in me, that I, Christ incarnate is in me, my Hamashiach, and has been. And the Jewish laws are notwithstanding too. See, that's why there were the Jews, well, because of what they did, they're the ones who had insurrections against the messenger that was here 2,000 years ago.